I thought today would never end. Well, all that matters is I'm home now. And we have the whole night together. Jet Enterprises. Which one of you is Clover? I am, I am, I'm Clover! Congratulations, Clover. You've been selected to fly on the maiden voyage of Blingjet, a brand new oh. super chic, super fast airliner. No way! Uh, you mean I won? Mm -hmm. Blingjet will transport you and a gaggle of international oh. mega celebrities from LA to Paris in the blink of an eye. Sam, Alex, did you hear that? I'm going to Paris with a gaggle of international mega-celebrities? Yeah, we heard. We're standing right here. <sighs> I am so excited. I don't even care that my hair is a ratted mess. Soon, I'll be hobnobbing with my peeps, baby. Right. Since when is Clover an international mega-celebrity? What's with the two girls? Aren't you happy for me? Of course we're happy for you. We're just a little bummed that we didn't win. Sorry, but you've got to be entered in Bling Jet's super fabulous contest to win. Aw, we did enter Bling Jet's super fabulous contest. Clover mailed our entries. Right, Clover? <laughs> Oopsie. My bad. Clover? How could you do that? Were you trying to sabotage our chances to win? Of course not. I was just so excited. I wanted to make super sure my entry got there, so I used extra stamps. <laughs> then there were none left to mail yours. It's okay, Clover. We'll just take this off your hands. Yeah, the guilt must be killing you. No, it's not! Hands off my ticket! You heard the stewardess! Then we'll draw straws to see who gets to go! What part of congratulations, Clover? You're the winner, didn't you understand? The part where you forgot to mail our entries? Speaking of winners, you've been chosen out of thousands of Whoop agents to serve as human test subjects in our latest battery of gadget tests. Isn't that exciting? Forget it, Jerry. Yeah, you can just find someone else to be your gadget testing guinea pigs. I was trying to make it sound exciting, but since that didn't work, your participation is mandatory. Sorry, no can do. I've been chosen to ride on the maiden voyage of Bling Jet. <laughs> Obviously, my social standing is more important than testing Whoop gadgets. Oh, Clover, I'm so excited for you. Though I must admit to being a little jealous that I didn't <laughs> win. Wait, you entered the Bling Jet contest? Of course. Bling Jet is a technological marvel, the dawn of a new era in air travel. Not to mention, I used to be quite the international jet setter in my youth. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it'll just be the two of you for the gadget testing. But, but... <laughs> Thanks, dear. You're the best. Bon voyage, Clover. Blingjet also has a nightclub, five-star French restaurant, fully equipped spa, and error-proof landing system complete with spinning rims. Can I show you to your seat? <laughs> Here we are, 5D. <gasps> you mean I'm sitting next to hip-hop sensation Triple Threat? <laughs> Dan, Stan, and the man? You guys are only like the hottest triplets in pre-packaged music. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> Wait until Sam and Alex see this. Meeting Triple Threat will so make up for forgetting to mail their entries. 
So, what do you girls think of Whoop's fire ants hot pants? waiting for. seen the man in a while. He's probably in the steam room. Dry plane air is murder on the follicles. Uh, tell me about it. I'm deep conditioning the minute we land. Wait, this is we've already passed Paris. That makes no sense. <gasps> wow, that was super psychic. What can I do for you, miss? Well, I think your GPS system is broken. It says we've already passed Paris. That's really more of a question for the captain. Please, follow me. Captain Hayes, this is Clover, winner of the Bling Jet contest. She has a question she'd like to ask. Our motto at Bling Jet is service with a million dollar smile. What can I do for you? Uh, I was just wondering why your onboard computer says we've already passed Grand Paris. <laughs> because we have. The flight was going so well, we figured, why end it now? <laughs> In fact, we're never going to land. I'm going to fly the friendly skies with my new celebrity friends forever and ever. <gasps> but I don't understand. Don't planes need fuel? Not Bling Jet. It's hydro-powered, collecting condensation from the clouds. Then the International Airport Authority dudes will stop you. Bling Jet travels faster than the speed of sound, so it's virtually undetectable by radar. If you think the celebrities will go along with this, then, then you're, you're, you're... What? <gasps> Crazy? <laughs> With all the fabulous amenities on Bling Jet, the celebrities would have to be crazy to want to leave. <gasps> Demented much? There's no way you're gonna get away with this. Yeah. Uh, hey! You're pretty strong for an overly quaffed glorified air waitress. <laughs> Not to mention heavy. Wait, where'd he go? Uh, 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 there's no point in trying to escape. Those are diamond-coated doors. Nothing goes in or out, unless I say so. Uh, ow! Uh. Now, please, take your seat and prepare for departure. <laughs> Yours, that is. Do the words, as if, mean anything to you? Huh? Oh. Whoa, so that's why you're kidnapping celebrities? You have one majorly severe case of CWS. CWS? Duh. Celebrity worship syndrome? And soon you'll have one major case of altitude sickness. When my flight attendant throws you from the plane, get her! Okay, um... Hate to be redundant, but so not gonna happen. Okay, mega freaky. Oh, did I forget to mention my flight attendants are robots? Did I forget to mention I'm an international spy? You can run, Clover, but you can't hide. Oh, yeah? Just 
watch me. I need some super spy backup. Time for another call to Sam and Alex. Oh. <gasps> Hello? The quick stash mustache is designed to hide whatever you need while on assignment, no matter the size. Go ahead, give it a try. Oh. Oh, yeah, Jer. This is foolproof. No one will ever suspect we got anything hidden in here. Plus, we're not males, so why exactly are we wearing mustaches? Allow me. Huh? If you call to brag about your fabulous trip, Clover, you can just forget it! This isn't a courtesy call. I'm in some major high-altitude trouble. What's wrong? Captain Hayes is a celeb number with no plans to land Bling Jet ever! And if we don't go along with this plan, he's going to put us in a creepy dungeon thingy. <gasps> come out, come out, wherever you are. Yet. Gladys! No, Jer, there's no time for Gladys. Besides, what better way to test them than in the field? You're right. Good luck, girls. Stay on chats, but I really have to jet. Huh? That's how he does it. Pretty cool trick, huh? <gasps> He's locked us in from the outside. I've also programmed the computer to begin dropping the pressure inside the cockpit. Sleep tight, ladies. <gasps> nice to see you. Enjoying your flight? You look marvelous. Excuse me, Captain. I was just wondering when we'll reach Paris. Yes, I'm expected at the theater at 8. Soon, very soon. Now relax and enjoy the flight. After all, the journey is the destination, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Why don't I have my flight crew bring around some low-fat pistachio for you? Hmm? Oh, yeah, yes, all yes, right. <laughs> Yum, oh, yum, 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 yum. We won't stay conscious much longer. We better call for reinforcements. 
Good idea. I'll dial Jerry. Forget Jerry. We need to alert the other passengers. <laughs> Hola, Mega Celebs. This is Clover from 5D. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Captain Hayes has no intention of landing in Paris. He wants you to live aboard Blink Jet as his own personal menagerie. <gasps> Freaky weird, huh? Feel free to be incensed and angry. And BTW, he's trapped me and my girls in the cockpit with little breathable air. So, if you can give us a hand, it'd be way appreciated. Over and out. Who do you think you are? Look, you'll never get away with this. You crazy, man. You ain't never gonna get away with this, man. Never. You want insane? I'll give you insane. I've just increased bling jet speed to a nutty one million miles per hour, a velocity so intense that it will reverse the rotation of the Earth. I will go backward on Earth, erasing your fame and fortune in the process. <laughs> flight needs later. <gasps> Looks like Clover's Operation Celebrity Pep Rally failed. What do we do now? I don't know, but we better do it pronto. I'm fading faster than a store-bought tan. <sighs> Experimental gadget number three. Don't fail us now. How is playing Rock the Cradle gonna help our lame oxygen sitch, Sam? It's not. While you two figure out a way to restore cabin pressure, I'm gonna slow down the plane. Another mission, another bad hair day. Okay, I'm no international jet setter, but shouldn't there be oxygen masks dropping from the ceiling by now? The captain must have jammed them with that totally annoying, totally cyber lame remote of his. Then you just have to unjam them. Who knew my in-flight Manny would come in so handy? <laughs> Nice work, Clover. <sighs> now all we have to do is increase the oxygen flow. No problem. Ground. And thanks for flying with us. I've always wanted to say that. 
Bubba. And please remember, if you're going to sue, sue him, not us. We're the good guys. Bye, Triple Threat. Oh, yo. Oh. Yo. And remember, I'm available for any of your casting needs. I'll have my agent send you a headshot. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Just thought this would make up for forgetting to mail your entries. <laughs> Dan, Stan, and the man will cherish this always. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Being a celeb is like so not what it's cracked up to be. People are always all over you, wanting autographs, pictures, hair. And like, privacy is totally a thing of the past. I mean, hello, try scratching your nose without a hundred paparazzi snapping away at you. No, thank you. I mean, unless of course, someone out there wants to do a show about me or something, you know, like being a super cool spy. <laughs> Just needs a name. Oh, oh, I know, totally clover, totally clover.